Okay, come around here. Let's uh, stand over there. There you go. Okay, everybody can see. I'm going to use my thumb and take it easy on him. Let's see if it's the UB. Does that hurt right there? Yes. How's the spot? Is it gone? I can feel it, but I can say it's pain. It's just, yeah. Okay. How about now? Yeah. Just so it's not painful. The pain's gone now. Okay. Right here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and sit down now. Okay, I think we got it on the run for sure. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Now, why don't you get comfortable now? Because I'm going to put some in your legs, too. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm okay. You okay? Yeah. Here. There you go. Okay. How are we doing? How's the pain? Tiny soreness. Tiny soreness. Okay, let's move on to the leg. Now it's on the it's on this side, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to use the UB and the kidney to treat itself. Is that does that hurt in there? Yeah. Does that hurt in there? Right in there. Did the pain move, by the way? No. Same, same spot. Same. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Feel that? Does it hurt? Did that hurt? Yeah. No. Okay, it didn't hurt. The needle didn't hurt, which is a little bit of a problem. That one hurt. That one hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how are we doing now? <laughs> Is the pain gone? Yeah. No, not yet? Not painful. It's not painful. Uh, I just I can feel it. So when you started, there was pain. Is that yeah. correct? Mm -hmm. Is that pain gone? Yeah. Okay, the so the pain's gone. gone. Now it's like stiff? Sore. 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 What's the difference between sore and pain? You don't... Pain is like... Very uncomfortable. Yeah. So that's gone. Yeah. Now it's sore. Sore. Okay. Let's see if we can't get rid of the soreness then. You okay? Yeah. Hanging in there? Yeah. Okay. Let me put that leg there. Let's go over here to the, to right in the middle. Did that affect it? Yeah. <laughs> Did that take it away? Relax. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. How much better now? 99. You see that? <laughs> 99 now. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not just saying that because I stick another needle in there. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no lying. There's 300 people there watching. you got to yeah, tell yeah. the truth now. <laughs> it's good? Yeah. All right. See that? Yeah. See how he layered it? Look, he's had the problem for a long time. This guy's an acupuncturist. He's also a chiropractor. So it's obviously... You know, stuck there. It's not a joke. It's not like some little thing he picked up today. Mm -hmm. He's had it for a long time. And you see what started with this wide area of pain. We needled the wide area and nuked most of it immediately. Immediately shrunk to a small spot. We needled it again in this lung area, treating the UB channel. Now, now it's shrunk to a spot. And that spot we determined was either the UB or the kidney. Probably the kidney. But for the hell of it, I put in these lung points. That seemed to help it a little bit. But at this point, you said there's no more pain. It's just kind of sore. So I guess soreness is just a low level of discomfort. Before, it was really hurting. Then what I did, I went down here using the same area. I needed the kidney. How's the soreness? It was a little better. Then I went right in here into this tendon which kind of splits the difference between the kidney and the, and, and the UB channel, and I stuck the needles in a little further, it took the pain away. Okay? Is that clear? Is 
got to cook. Yeah, he's going to he's going to lie down on the heated sheepskin bed for 40 minutes listening to the new age music. <laughs> Anybody have any questions on this case? Then you can type it in there, and then and, um, you know we gonna ask Bob or any questions you have. I will pay you later. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I did. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not palpate for Osher points. What is the last imaging for the last set of UB points? Okay. Okay, take a look at this now. See this image here? This is where his pain is if you draw a line from the pain across to his arm. Okay, you got that? Just a little bit proximal from the wrist. Okay? Is that clear? Then, okay. Got a picture of it? Okay, now I just took the same spot, which is proximal, to the wrist, and I went down proximal to the to the um, to the basically the ankle crease, and then I just went proximal to the ankle crease, and I needled the kidney and the UB right there. Okay, that's what I did. It's the same spot. I just took this spot and put it down there, and I targeted the kidney and the UB by needling the kidney and the UB. I could have put needles over here too, but by this time it was already gone, and I don't want Darren to faint on me. <laughs> He's too big to catch. Okay, did that answer her question? Good. Or his question? The whole leg images the whole trunk, right? Yeah, the whole leg images the whole trunk. The knee is the diaphragm. The whole leg images the whole back. The knee is about T12-ish. Is T12 across from the diaphragm or T9? Probably T12. So the whole leg is the whole back. T12 is the knee, which is the same distance from T12 to the to the tailbone as from T12 to, to T1. That's how you use the leg to image the whole lower back. But I've gone a step further, folks, in that I'm just taking the pain and drawing a line, and where it hits that person's arm, then I have a specific spot on their arm. Their arm they might have long arms or short arms. That's where it hits on their arm, and then I'm transferring that area down to the leg. That's how I'm really doing it. So you don't have to worry about T12 to this and that. Just draw a line across. Wherever it hits the arm, that's your spot. Spread the image, and then take that spreaded image and transfer it down to the same area of the leg and needle that area. Obviously in the right vessels, but that's your image. Next, Dina. Do you like to needle kidney to bladder and bladder to kidney to save time, or does it... Make sure that each needles. The way I needle is this, folks, is I usually try to pick up two vessels at once. Because I'm, us I'm using 30 gauge, inch and a half needles in most cases, and I will go into the UB channel and aim it right at the kidney. So I get both. Or I'll aim from the kidney and go right into the UB channel. I get both. It's good to do that. Remember, the, the uh, vessel, remember what you want to do is degranulate these mast cells. You want to get this whole strong reaction going. So the stronger the vessel, the stronger the needling, the better the result. Did you notice that when he went, ooh, on what cup, that's when the pain went away. The yeah, this is the last one when he went, oh, bang, that took it away. So if I was down here kind of, you know, putting in these little tiny needles. Yeah, it wouldn't have done a damn thing. <laughs>